Thomas and everybody, including me, as we obey God tonight. And listen in one mind and one accord. That we're here to worship God. Listen. Listen in one mind and one accord and listen. Whatever is going on, let's get out of our head. We come to focus on God tonight, Brother Stacy. So if you got something going on, you put it outside the church now. If you focus on him tonight, Amen. I yeah. thank God for everything he's done and I, I will let Sister Melinda come up and take up prayer for us. Amen. Bless her heart. Yes, Jesus, thank you. I want to thank North Clayton, not did I say it right? Okay, for coming. And then, yeah, Faith Tabernacle, sorry, for coming tonight. And everybody else has come all over to thank Sister Melinda. I want to thank her for coming tonight. She had a few church. Thank y'all. Uh, Sister Amanda, everybody knows Amanda and David. Amen. Thank God for them. What's y'all's church name? I'm Amanda. Break the church of God. So I want to thank you for coming out tonight. Well, praise God. How many is going to be in my house of the Lord tonight? Amen. Amen. I believe the Lord's going to have a word for us tonight. Amen. You're a precious girl right there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody got any prayer requests tonight you'd like to be made known? I remember Sister Raven, they think she's got pneumonia. And they think she's got blood clots. So let's remember her tonight. Remember all the lost out there. Amen. Like everybody remember our children, they get to church before it's too late. Amen. Amen. Remember all our kids and grandkids too. Everyone got out of church. Oh my God. Yeah. All everybody remember me in the temptation that got me on. Want to do what it is I'm supposed to do. If not, I'm I'm looking for some bad results right now. But I know I know God can turn it around. Amen. Remember all the lost in the service. That's right, amen. God's a miracle worker. That's right, he sure is. I don't go to doctors no more, I go to Jesus. Amen. Praise God, you're looking at a miracle right here tonight. Amen. <laughs> All that God's kept me from, I should be dead. I really should. Amen. I'm just 58 years old. I've had seven heart attacks, I got four stents. For three years, I've been walking around Amen. with a triple A aneurysm. Just had all kind of stuff going on, but right. God has done. Yeah, he has done with me. Yeah, praise God. And I don't sit out and quit on God either. Right. No matter how I feel, if I can't even hardly get out of bed, I still get up and I go to the church and I preach. Amen. Amen. I'm going to do what God's called me to do. Bless God. And the devil ain't gonna stop me. Amen. Yeah, Come right. on, girl. Right. Yes. Anybody Good else boy. tonight? Bless your heart. Got any requests? We've got a revival coming up starting Sunday with Brother Mike Palmer. Down to Faith Tabernacle. So just pray that souls will be saved. God's work in you. Amen. 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 Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is on the move for those that want. Amen. Yes. 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 The sad thing is, you try to tell people, you try to tell people that Jesus is coming back. Come on, Amen. Man. And it's closer now than it's ever been. Praise God that they don't want to hear it. No. No, they want to flog all these big mega churches where they sugarcoat, water down God's word, and have all the smoke and the light. Come on, amen. Come on, now it's even stored now with rock and roll country songs to open their service up. And I can tell you, God ain't pleased with that. God. He ain't pleased with it. Just like I know a church that never had a lane. Right in the sanctuary of God, Timothy. They do a haunted house. They dress up like devils and demons and bring all these little kids in there. Now, what God ain't pleased with that? No, it's not. No, it's not. What are they teaching those children? Oh, God. They ain't teaching them about God. They teach you about that lying devil is what they teach you. Come on, that's it. Praise God. That's awesome. Anybody else tonight? Um, I'm Sister Jackie. I'm 
I'm sure a lot of y'all have probably seen it on Facebook and probably your alerts with your sheriff's department. But in Franklin, just over the mountain, there's a 14-year-old little girl missing. Yeah, um, her name is Naomi Moss. She comes from a good family. Good, her uh, uncle is a preacher um, from Cashers, and um, they think that from what they have gathered, she may be with an older man. Um, they cannot find her at all. It's been since Monday night. Monday night at midnight was the last time they saw her. Tuesday night, um, and the longer she's gone, the worst it is. So please remember next day, Naomi Moss. She's just a year older than my daughter. Same school, and I, I couldn't imagine what that mom and daddy's feeling right now. Come on, come on, come on. Praise God. I want to just give God some praise. Come on. You know, God will order your footsteps. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Me and Jack was coming up the road, and I said, Lord, honey, we're going to be over an hour early. And I said, Dairy Queen, 1.5 miles on the way. But let me tell you, God led us there for a reason. Yeah. This couple come in behind us, and we had church in Dairy Queen. Hey, All right. Look it up. Awesome. Yes, yes, he does. Yes, yes he does. Lord. He led us there for a reason. Hallelujah. And I mean, these people really love God. Lord. In fact, they was talking the same thing like I was. How people, they don't want to hear about Jesus. Yes, no. Amen. Right. Amen. All they want to do is they want you to water it down and sugarcoat it. But all the little churches like us and y'all, amen, that preach the true word of God, don't water it down and don't sugarcoat it, amen. They don't want to go to them churches because they don't want to hear about hell, amen, because a hell to shun and a heaven to go. Come on, get out. Praise God. Good. Mm. Anybody else? I've got a uncle and an aunt that are, they're, uh, if they, God don't intervene, they're going to leave this world of cancer. And God needs, I, just, I pray God will touch them. I've got an uncle yes. fixing to go into surgery here in about a week for a brain tumor. Oh, just keep Lord. him in your prayers. Oh, you got God lost loved them. ones. If they don't get right, they're going to hell. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Y'all, if y'all would, uh, when you pray, lift my name up to the Lord. I, Monday, I got to go to two different doctors. I got to have a bunch of tests done. I've had some really bad things going on. And I know who my God is. Amen. Amen. And I know that God can reach down. Come on. Amen. His arm is not too short. You know, that he can't reach down, praise God, and turn it around and heal this old body. Amen. 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 He can do it, can he? Yes, he, can. he can do it. Amen. Yes, he can. Praise God. I better shut up before I get wound up and start running the pews. Come on. Go ahead. <laughs> no, Sam, we're going to preach tonight. <laughs> Amen. You want me to pray over the request? Okay. Yeah, if we all can stand up. Amen. Come on, let's stand up and remember. Remember, remember our nation. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Praise God. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Father God, we just come yeah. to you tonight, Lord, and have the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. The name that is the name of God. God, we lift up every one of these requests for you tonight. Amen. Father, we know God that there is nothing impossible with you. Amen. 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 Amen.
trying to get to the I love it again. Kind of, we don't want a lot of people tonight. Come on. 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 Take it off tonight. See, that's the song. 
Come on. I would ask you, can you want the old coat tonight? See, don't lie. Don't lie in the house of God. Yeah. You choose to wear that old coat, and you get up here and get some deliverance tonight. Amen. You let people pray for you tonight. If you yes. choose to wear that new coat, then that's great. That makes you purified tonight. Come on now. Which one are you tonight? Mm -hmm. Well, man, it's hot. It's hot up here. Come How on. you talking yeah. about hot? I'm talking about spiritual. Yeah. Come on, girl. Be one tonight. Come on. But if you like change, for the best. I know you have. I will never go back to the things that I used to do. Yeah, it, it cleans me up. Come on, girl. Come on. It was worth it this week, Melinda. It was worth having those seizures this week. Come on, girl. Because God showed me things. And I promise you, when I spoke tonight, He dealt with me on. He said, when you get angry, you got to learn to forgive. Yes. So you got to learn to that tonight, Brother Stacy. The Bible says that you hurt it not to be angry. It's okay to anger and not to sin. But when you hold it in the house of God tonight, Come on. you won't let it Come go. On. When you won't walk through those doors and love one another, because you got angry Come to love one another, you better get down and you better Come on. See, I ain't like our David one day and be like him a fireball. But I pour out what's on my heart 
work yeah. tonight. Yeah. 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 That's okay. What needs to come? Yes. Why don't we? Why don't we come and live for God? Come on, Sandra. Why? Come on. Why? Go I don't ahead, Sandra. Why? Why do we play church? Yes. There you go. There you go. Why? Come on. You know what? If you're going to pray church, you might as well just stay out of church. Amen. Why would you say that? Oh, it's true. Because it, it, ain't, it ain't no good. It ain't going to do you no good. I bet you can sit there and serve the devil and serve God tonight. Come on, Stop man. playing church. That's right. Stop playing church. Amen. Stop coming in here putting your hands up and saying, oh, I love you, Jesus. And then go out there and smoke your duck. No. Then go out there and cuss. It won't work. Go out there and drink. Go out work. there and commit fornication. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're double standard. Right. You ain't got it. That's You're double it. standard. Come on, man. Why do people want to do that tonight? God but there's a man named Jesus who's better than anything to die. Come on, man. Yes. I'd rather go to heaven than die and go to hell. There's a day my mom used to work at a nursing home. People don't believe hell's real. Come but I'll tell you it's real tonight. She worked at a nursing home and there was a guy that was dying. And he began to scream out. And he said, cut the heat off, cut the heat off. They said, the heat is off. He said, I'm burning, I'm on fire. He began to dig his skin. Don't tell me that it's not real tonight. It's not it like you may think it's funny putting it a smile on your face. But hush, one day you're going to meet the maker. And I promise you, when you stand in front of Jesus, you ain't going to be smiling. You ain't going to be smiling. Because he's going to say, well done, I'm going to try. He's going to say, depart from me. Which one are you tonight? Which one of you to that? Oh, good girl. I don't fear man, I fear God. Amen. That's the problem with the church. Is the people don't fear God. Because honey, if they fear God, they wouldn't be going out here doing the things that they do. No, I want to ask you tonight. Would Jesus sit right here if you was listening to some kind of music? When he sat there beside you say, Let me listen to that music, would you? If he was watching a TV show, would he sit right there and say, Let me watch that TV show, would you? If he was going to places that you should go to, would he sit right there and say, I'll go on with you? Would he sit right there on the things that you're doing tonight? Come on. Sit there and say, Let me hold your hand. Let me sit there with you tonight. Would he? Come on, girl. I feel a burden for someone. You know, if I could, if I could sit up there and go to them. If I could tell them, you keep going the way you go, and you're going to wind up one day facing Jesus, God, and you're going to wind up going to hell if you yes. don't get things right. And you say you was going. I said, if you don't get things right. If I could sit there and hug them and say, Mary, it's never worth it. If I could just do that. If I could drag them to the altar tonight and say, lay it down tonight. What I could do, but no, I can't. The Spirit has to join you. If the Spirit ain't joining you, I ain't got no good for you tonight. Come on, Jackie. I want us to stand up tonight. Yeah, it's a little different. It's a little different. for this individual. Yeah. I tell you, persons here tonight, they need deliverance. Yeah. Brother David, they need deliverance from joy. You say, what are you doing? I'm calling it out tonight. Amen. But God says, call it out. I'm okay. I can call it out, right? Yes. Call it out. I'm calling it out tonight. Yes. I want to start praying. There you go. Thank you. I want to start praying. That's what I'm going to do.